that is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kaya and today we are going to be watching My Girlfriend Lives as a Toddler from Extreme Love. Now, we haven't done a funny video in a minute. We haven't really, we haven't had a lot of laughs. I mean, we have, but this, <laughs> I'm in a funky mood. We are going to watch My Girlfriend Lives as a Toddler. We watched um, another one previously, which I'll link here, um, of My Girlfriend Lives as a Dog. So we're going to see what this is all about. What is it like to live your life as an adult toddler? Um, I don't know, but I am curious. And I know that you are too, because this is um, a question that you've been asking yourself for a really long time. We've really wanted to know uh, the answer. Okay, so today we're going to get it. Um, if you are new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing. I uh, post weekly videos. You certainly don't have to, but we do a lot of metal on this channel. And, uh, you know, who doesn't like to listen to metal? So let me know down below in the comments what you think about this video. Join the Discord, the Mosh Pit, invite link in the description, and send me recommendations for metal, funny videos, scary videos, um, different things like that um, through the channel email. Um, and. I also have a P.O. box that y'all can send stuff to. I'm going to start doing metal unboxings. So if you want to have something featured in this metal unboxing, go ahead, send it over. It can be anything from a CD to a t-shirt to uh, like fan art or something like that. Uh, something sort of metal related. Um, we'll, we'll kind of like work out the kinks as we go. This is something new I'm bringing to the channel. So, um, read the post. I have a post about it. Anyway, let's get into the video. In the words of Peter Pan, I right. never want to grow up. Can I put it on the fridge? I'm a little oh, and he's my daddy. The end. Alright. I'm on board. I'm on board. Ish. The toddler aspect's a little weird, but daddy's okay, I think. I just realized that this is like really kinky. Ooh. Okay. I feel like I want to cry already. Just because I don't know how to feel. Kentucky! This is the Valley of Ashes. A fantastic yep. farm where ashes grow like wheat into ridges and hills and grotesque gardens where ashes take the form of houses and Potter chimneys shirt. and rising smoke. And finally, with a transcendent effort of- Toddlers don't read The Great Gatsby Girl. Okay, unless you're like some super child. Have you ever read The Great Gatsby? I didn't really like the movie, never read the book. Eh, just wasn't a fan. Wasn't a fan. Dimly and already crumbling through the power dreary air. Peppa and Emily Elephant like to share <laughs> their toys with this cat! <laughs> that cat! Did you see him? He's like, what the fuck is going on? This cat, oh my god. I think he's got the face of like all of us right now. He's like, I don't want to be here. He was like, I hate story time. <laughs> To share their toys with each other. I found my prince. I call him daddy. You have my a name sign? Is Max, and I'm 20, but not really because I'm five. Uh, my name is Johnny, and I'm 31. Age is just a number. That doesn't really bother me. 
Uh, it's the five part. Pinky. The rain stopped. You want to go to the park? Yeah. Yeah? You want to go to the park? Because you're off. I'm going to have a daddy baby day. Daddy baby day. Let's get a jacket on. Okay. And shoes. Oh. I have to wear shoes. Also, I want to take Moana. Okay. Moana. DDLG, by definition, is Daddy Dom Little Girl. And it is a subsection of BDSM, which is a part of kink. I was just discovering things about the community, learning a bit more about it. I decided to um, try it out, and I've just loved it ever since. It's just me. I'm a preacher. There are a lot of people in the community that do this sexually, um, and I am not one of those people. This is a completely non-sexual lifestyle for me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. I like her. She's cool. She's on. She's on my good side. Because at least she, like, can separate the two, you know? Which I guess, like, dog girl could, too. But I like that she at least mentioned that it wasn't, like, a sexual thing for her. But it's, like, kinky. She said it's kink BDSM, like, but it's not sexual for you, so it's just... I mean, regardless, your boyfriend's into it, so. All right, open mind. Told me that uh, she was part of this lifestyle. She had shown me the videos that she was watching. She showed me a sippy cup and that she was eating these baby snacks. And I think that's when we, that's when we had the conversation about it. Are you stop in the puddle? I know a lot of people look down on more hardcore versions of the uh, DDLG subset, but for a lot of for a lot of people, it's non-sexual. It's and like for us, it's non-sexual. If it's been a really hard day and she's been a really good girl, we'll go to the park. I like a really puddles. Going to the park. She's adorable. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how to feel about this. She's adorable though. And her boyfriend seems very nice. <laughs> wow, that does look fun I'm though. Little a lot oh of the time, God. especially when we're at home, um, when we're just relaxing and I'm with him, I'm little when I want to be. Um, I'm little when it's right to be. But of course, it's it's not something that like I can't control. Like if we're out in public, you know, I don't just randomly like shout "daddy" because that's involving other people and something that they didn't consent to. Okay, stop! I'm sick. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> Look at these kids. Oh my god. Oh. Cringe, 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 cringe. Look at this dad and his daughter. This dad is like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And then this daughter is like, man, I wish my dad could play with me like that. Calling him daddy out in public. Anyway. You're doing it in front of them. They didn't sign up for that. Call your boyfriend daddy. It's fine. There you go. Nice. <laughs> nice talk. Oh, no. My socks are wet. Hi. Oh, they're very wet now. I feel like Coda is. <laughs> Ew. I'm not a big kid. Yes, I am. My dom. My daddy takes care of me, but I also take care of him. We take care of each other. And I think having that nurturing aspect to the relationship really makes it strong. Thank you, Papa. Kiss. I love you. Daddy! Oh my gosh. Can I have some milk and some water? Mm -hmm. Got it. It's heavy. Ugh. It seems kind of weird. It's just, it's just 
it's just a weird fine line. And I'm trying to understand it. You know, we're open minded. Open mat. Fine line between like, okay, boyfriend daddy, daddy daddy, dom daddy, daddy daddy, okay? Fine line in. Girlfriend that you have sex with and love, daughter, <laughs> hmm. Ugh. Getting a little too close. I know you ain't related, but there's some things that are happening that are very close in that sort of field. And this is where I keep oh, most of corner. my stuffies and some other stuff. And Stuffies. this is my passy box. And this has all of my pacifier passy stuff box. in it. And I have a lot of them. Vegetables. You have a pacifier box? Ew. Ew. Okay. First off, there is a hair on one of them. I can see it. It's That is a janky box. Janky dirty. Janky dirty, bestie. Uh-uh. You're putting that, that in your mouth, okay? Do you want food poisoning? Do you want to like get tonsillitis? Like I hope you're deep cleaning those things after you get done sucking on them and getting all up in there. Uh-uh girl, uh-uh. At least if you're gonna have a pacifier box, okay, passy box, barf, uh, put them in a plastic ziplock, you know, ziploc bag, girl. Or, I don't know, a denture box, like something that you can actually like wipe and clean. Not just some gross, jank ass, rotting cardboard. Ugh. Ew. No telling what kind of fuzz and grit you have in the bottom of that box. Foul. Okay. Ugh. Alright. Right. Stuff that you can like cut like that, and I really like those. Wow! All of my rules over here cat. Um, by the bed like, so that I can anything. see them. I have um, an extensive list of rules, but the main ones are no tantrums, um, no, no saying tantrums. no. No tantrums. Don't tell Nat Daddy no. This includes no back talking. Ooh, I like that one. It's kind of like Fifty Shades of Grey, but like if Anastasia was a toddler. Ugh, I love Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't care what you say. I love to read erotic romances and mm, mm, I love that series so much. When upset, use your words to communicate with daddy. Ask daddy permission to have sweets until you get a job get up at 11 a.m. every day please tell me you actually have a job and you don't just spend your entire day as a baby unless you go to like the grocery store <laughs> is he the main breadwinner and get up when the alarm goes off actively search for a job until you get a job if I break a rule, then I, I get timeouts. I just have to sit here in the corner and stare at the wall and do nothing. Anytime that I want a story, he'll read it to me because we like reading together and sometimes I get to read the books and if I don't know how to say a word, he helps me. Very big yeah. one. My favorite toys are all of my stuffies and my Monster High dolls. Those are my favorite. And I don't know if it counts as a toy, but I love the cats. I like to play with them. I don't think they like to play with Daddy, you. Daddy, have you ever noticed that Broadway looks like trees? I'm the best at coloring. Oh, I'm gonna this cat. To try and explain this lifestyle in terms of a little, 
this lifestyle is kind of like a coloring book where she hands me the lines and I can just fill them in with whatever color right. I want, basically. Um, They're both equal. Yeah. The cats look incredibly uncomfortable. This cat doesn't even look like he's real. I don't know if the boyfriend's into it. Does it seem like he's into it? Seems like he's kind of just going along with it. Uh, hopefully the cooter is good. Hopefully the cooter is top notch. Okay. Maybe you're, I mean, obviously you're into it. The cooter's got to be good. I don't know. I don't know. Can I put it on the fridge? On the fridge. On the fridge. Oh my gosh. Hooray! We did it. We did it. We did it. I am so vulnerable and so open in little space that that's where I want to keep it. Like it's it's a safe place and it's a place that we share together. You have fun today? Yeah. yeah. The best fun in the world. The most fun ever. Most fun ever with the best daddy ever. Oh. My, my daddy and I are very much in love and this is something that we do to strengthen that bond. Daddy, I'll take your time. I am an adult. I'm 20 years old. I pay my bills. I do my taxes. Um, it's it's never interfered, and I don't think that it will. I will always have that childlike sense of wonder about me, and whether or not in 20 years I still call myself a little, I know that I'm gonna have that inside me That's because. Cute. Oh my god, this cat is just me energy. He's like, I don't know what's happening. I just, I don't want to grow up. That does look really comfortable though, just to be around. All those stuffed animals. Kind of funky. Kind of funky. Alright you guys, that is the end of the video, My Girlfriend Lives as a Toddler. Uh, thank you so much for watching, um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you want to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do so. Uh, and also send me recommendations for other funny videos, scary videos, or metal. Y'all already know, we got tons of metal popping out. Okay, so send in your recs. That's how I decide all the music that goes in these videos, okay? Uh, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you soon. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are. And whenever you're watching this, I'll see you soon. Bye, you guys.